First, you have to mount the spool on the Mr. Winder. In my case, I'm using a spool with PET filament I previously welded and wound. From the left side, attach another filament spool with PET or any other material. Turn on the machine, choose your filament profile, click Start and load the filament from the left side. Then, after a short calibration process, load the filament from the right side. Now hands off. The welding and cooling process is fully automatic. It takes around one minute and it depends on the filament material you currently use. You can hear the compressing stage because the machine is pressing the filaments together, which creates a solid connection. It's time to check if the welding spot is well made. For demonstration, I cut off the welded part and show it to you under the microscope. If everything is okay, I start the winding. You can control the speed of this process by using the knob. The process is very smooth and satisfying to watch. You really get a sense of progress as the wire builds up. Thanks to the reciprocating mechanism, the filament won't tangle later when used in the printer. And here it is, a full spool of recycled filament that you can use straight away in your 3D printer.